Hello, my name is Lauren and I am standing in our outdoor prairie space here at the Children's Museum of South Dakota. And I would love to invite you to go on a leaf picking hunt with me here and uh, let's see what we can find. I am going to start walking and I want to look for a variety of leaves of different colors. Have you ever wondered why around this time of year our leaves start changing colors? It's actually really interesting. It's because as our weather gets colder and our days get shorter, leaves get less and less sunlight. And because of that, they start losing their color and changing their color, which is really interesting. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm even going to show you, after you go on your own leaf hunt, how you can actually pull those colors from the leaves using a process called chromatography. So I'd love to show you that at the end. I'm walking across our stream now. And if you listen closely, you might hear some birds chirping. They're very happy today. And I'm walking over here because I found some really interesting leaves over on these bushes here. So let's see if I can find them again. So I'm gonna crouch down. It's very important that if you want to do the science experiment that you find leaves that are on bushes and trees. That means they're fresh. If they're on the ground, they're probably too dried out for the experiment to work. So let's see if I can find those pretty colors. Now if I go back here, see how that is green but it also has a really pretty brown color in it? I'm gonna grab a couple of those. You see one down here. Ooh, and this one down here is even changing colors to red. Isn't that cool? Now, let's walk around and see what other leaves we can find. I made sure to ask special permission before I started walking around picking leaves, and that's very important for you to do before you go on your leaf picking adventure as well. Now, Let's look at these leaves. They have really pretty dark spots on them, and I find that really intriguing, so I'm gonna grab those too. And we're walking, and we're walking, we're by the stream, and by our tunnel. Our music wall is back there. And we're going to cross the stream. One, two, three rocks, and Let's take a look at some of the trees over here by our dinosaur dig pits. Now I see some red leaves. Well, I would say that's a reddish brown. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. And now I want to find some really bright yellow leaves. Now let's see if I can turn my camera so you can see this. This one is special. Oh, I dropped it because it was one of the only yellow ones on this branch. I think that's kind of special. So I'm gonna grab that one. And then let's just grab a couple from this tree too. Can you see that okay? I'm taking you on this adventure on my phone, so I'm sorry if I'm a little, the screen shaking a little bit. I'm gonna try my best to keep us steady. Now our last stop. And you might want to take a little bit longer on your leaf hunt, but I'm just going to take a short one. I'm going to go over by the dinosaurs because I haven't had a chance to say hello to them today. So why don't we do that together? Okay, we're walking through the gazebo. And I'm going to turn around and who do I see? There's Mama T-Rex. Let's see if she's feeling like she wants to talk today. Yeah! There she is. And now let's go over and say hello to Max. We can't forget Max. There's Max. Hi Max. Let's see if he's feeling talkative today. He might be feeling a little tired. So we'll give him some time. And as we're walking, I see some beautiful leaves over here, so I'm glad we stopped over here. I see some bright red leaves on these bushes, so I'm gonna grab a few of those. Oh, Max is saying hello now. Let's see if we can take a peek at him. Here he is. 
Hi, Max. And then let's grab a few bright leaves over here. <laughs> okay, so let's start walking back so I can get that science experiment ready so you can follow along at home. Thank you so much for joining me on this leaf hunt. And now let's start working on the science side of things. I'll see you soon. Welcome back everyone. Now the next thing I want to show you is how I took the leaves that we gathered during our leaf hunt and prepared them for our chromatography experiment. So the first thing I, that I did was I looked at all of the leaves we collected and I chose four different leaf types that we had more than one of. Then I went around the museum and I collected containers to put each leaf type in. So this container here, I took a leaf and I ripped it up into little itty bitty pieces and I put it in the bottom of the container. The next thing I did was I took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I put the rubbing alcohol in the bottom of the container just enough to cover the leaves. Next, I put just a little bit of plastic wrap on the top of the container and then I took the same leaf type and put it on top. That's so that I can remember which leaf is in which container. I repeated that process three more times and then I put each container into a tin with a little bit of warm water. Then you have to let this sit for at least 30 minutes and if you keep on watching I'll tell you what we're going to do next for a chromatography experiment to pull out all of those beautiful leaf colors. Ready for the last step? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of our leaf mixtures and I'm going to take a little bit of filter paper. This is just coffee filter that I've cut into strips. And I'm going to make sure that it's a little bit taller than our container. And it is. Then I'm going to take something like a colored pencil. I'm going to tape the filter paper onto my colored pencil. Now a popsicle stick will do, the end of a spoon, anything you have around. It just needs to be long enough that it can hold the filter paper over the container, just like that. So the filter paper isn't all the way in the container, it didn't fall down, but it's being suspended. That's very important. Now watch as the colors slowly creep up the filter paper. That's chromatography. You're pulling out all of those beautiful colors. I'm so excited for you to try this at home. I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope you all have a great fall.